Morning, folks. Today, I most humbly and respectfully declare that yesterday's loquacious Slayer mode continues today. We'll hit cosmology, astrophysics, and climate fraudulence, and we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun. We're very quiet, except for at the northern polar crown, at the incoming limb. Eruption heading northward. No major flares or solar wind variations, so we eye that eruption a bit more closely, made a tremendous CME for the second time this week, and turns towards Earth in the coming days. It's both funny and sad when so much time and brain power and often money are spent to find absolutely nothing. Hey, let's give dark matter scientists this much. At least they're consistent. And in a paper that brings back all the isotropic failures of the mainstream model, we've got the cosmic dipole, magnetic universe, as well as the anisotropy and the cosmological constant densities and more. There is more than a problem in cosmology. They're using the wrong model entirely. Usually when we bring up V2487, it's because the recurrent nova has gone boom again, one of our favorite recurring novas. But here, they're confirming that in the wake of the nova, there are tremendous super flares. This is now officially the most extreme super flare star with blasts 100 million times greater than the sun's normal flares and about 10,000 times greater than what we believe the sun's maximum super flare can be. Now, it's time for a spanking. We're slaying this article and it has nothing to do with supporting Trump, so snowflakes check yourself or the observers are going to do it for you. Climate science is the most absurdly politicized and fraudulent science on Earth today, and probably ever. The author here has become what I know is one of the most biased and worst academic shill factories on the planet. Apropos, the author works for nature. Now let me begin this by showing that once again, here in 2021, the annual U.S. climate report, global warming was at night. Top right is maximum temps, and there's a nice split in the above and below averages, but bottom left, nighttime lows. Those were much warmer than expected across the board. And I say this every single month, and it's true 95% of the time in those monthly reports and 100% of the time in the annual reports. 2020, maximum temps top right. No, that's not the global warming story. It's the nighttime lows bottom left. That was incredibly evident in 2019 when the maximums were about average with major cold regions, yet the minimums bottom left were the global warming story. Even as we go month to month in 2021, okay, so a hot December, boo-hoo us. The ultra-cold February blasted 75% of the country in the harshest way possible, not heat in the middle of winter at night. Global warming is at night, but the cold events are hitting in the hardest way possible. Nature and several of their writers have become the face of shillery and dishonesty in favor of political paradigms, and that is what is allowing the lack of trust in systems. From nearly everyone on Earth now realizing their COVID discourse has gone off the rails, welcome to the party, those of you getting here a year late, by the way, to never finding dark matter to their climate cacophony of nonsense. It's articles like this that scream ironically to the world in display of a failing paradigm. And so presuming you saw the recommended videos yesterday, let's go recommend some more today. If my cleaning the clocks of an entire NASA climate team wasn't enough, the last four videos of the climate playlist are a mini-series all their own, and they utterly debunk this climate nonsense with all four of those videos listed for you below today in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.